Raheem. Raheem, penalty. That's a penalty. Come on. Oh, he's gonna look at the box. He's gonna look at the box. Come on. Penalty. Calcio de rigori. Francesi, oh my god. Bellissimo, Frank. Bellissimo. What a beautiful penalty. My goodness. My god. Ciao a tutti e benvenuto Rossoneri. This is your boy Ari and you're watching Rossonari TV. Milan 2 0 Torino. Grande ragazzi, what a way to come back from our first defeat in 10 months. Now we all become Roma supporters for one day and hope they destroy our ugly cousins from the other side of Milan. The lineup today was not much different from that of Juve. Calabria dropped back to his original position, which he had to vacate again because of Tonali's unfortunate injury. Brahim Diaz stepped in behind the strikers in place of Hakan and put in arguably his best performance in the red and black jersey. A quick injury report. You're still here? Fuck out. <laughs> Quick injury report, Milanisti. According to Milan TV, Sandro Tonali has suffered a blunt trauma on the left calf, but he should be able to shake it off because Italian DAZN reported that Tonali is going to be fine in two days. As for Brahim Diaz, it is an injury to the left ankle and further evaluations will be done tonight. Get well soon, young Rossonero. Let's start with our incredible defense. Alessio Romagnoli and Simon Kier were incredible on the ground and even better on the air defensively and offensively. And they successfully, in partnership with Gigio, played the ball from the back by playing around Torino's press for most of the game. That sliding challenge from Kier on Verdi was what I live for. Inject that into my veins. Bravo, Kier! Milanisti, we all love a comfortable victory. A victory where we don't have to clinch it up for the last 15 minutes. This was a comfortable victory, but also a very expensive one for all those yellow cards we got. Overall, I'm very happy with the performance that Ragazzi were able to brush off that defeat against Juventus as they should have and as they will again against Torino on Tuesday. My cousin Davide Calabria, thank you. Grazie Davide for being a true gentleman and a true team player. Stepping up twice in a row to help the midfield crisis Stefano Pioli is facing and acting as a double pivot in the deep-lying defensive midfield with Franck Kessy. Diogo Dalot has also covered up for Calabria twice now. Once against Andrea Bellotti and the other against Cristiano Ronaldo. Bravo Dalot, I am very impressed by the versatility and the depth that this guy offers to this injury-struck squad. Torino was pretty painful to watch. Their style of play is boring, unmotivated and overall just lacking in all ends of the field. Marco Giampaolo was easily Maldini's worst decision and he also got caught picking his nose in the post-match press conference. Come on man, Giampaolo, this guy cannot be in the Serie A anymore. Brahim Diaz was absolutely wonderful tonight. He stepped in for Hakan who normally does not give Diaz much playing time at all. He was very clinical tonight. In the first goal, he provided a quick assist to Liao, but I like his contribution to the second goal even better. Signori, signori, if you look closely, Diaz didn't have really much to do in that attack because he was being closed down by multiple Torino players. Seeing that he didn't really have much to produce from a dribble, I think he intentionally played into a tactical foul and earned us a penalty. Great awareness and what a performance by Brahim Diaz, my joint man of the match with none other than Rafael Liao! Oh, Liao? Rafael Liao! Rafael Liao! Rafael Liao! Let's go! Grande ragazzi! 1-0 del Milan! 
Liao had a wonderful game. It seems that he's getting more and more comfortable in the center forward position, something many Milanistis, including myself, criticized him for. Not only has his decision making gotten better by leaps and bounds, but Liao is also a very unselfish player who thinks for the team more than he thinks for himself. The yellow card that got him suspended for the next game was absolute bull. He either jumps a little early and gets that yellow card or stands his ground and gets his ankle broken by that sliding tackle. Come on ref. The ref did a good job today by putting his ego aside and handling VAR correctly as it should be handled and he took a good amount of time to actually analyze both those calls and make the right call. But his overall performance was horrendous considering how many yellow cards he gave away tonight. The last thing we need right now is more players out due to suspension. The good news though, signore e signori, is that Zlatan Ibrahimovic is back. We should undoubtedly see him against Torino on Tuesday and on the weekend now that Liao is definitely suspended. Also, look at that warm-up, signore, signori. This guy is 39 years old. Incredible, Zlatan! Let's see what Mr. Herb Kippers has to say about this game, and more specifically, about Jens Petahauga. What out, this is Herb Kipper. Congratulations, Milan fans. Big win today. Very pleasing to see. Especially given the fact that we're coming off of a loss and the whole injury crisis, which is a nightmare. Um... Just love the spirit that this team is showing. I do have one note, and that you may guess is for a young left winger, Jens Petter Hauger. Um, you know, he's a bright kid, and I don't want to hate, but he just didn't didn't show much today. He hasn't shown much for a while, if I'm being honest. Um, didn't really look a threat going forward, didn't really link with anybody, sort of forgot that he was playing. And I hope that he turns that around, I really do. Uh, but other than that, it was it was great stuff and uh, very well deserved win. Congratulations, ciao tutti. A quick word on Hakan Chalanolu and Samu Kasti. Samu Kasti displayed his best attribute tonight, which is the press. This guy can easily run a marathon and at the end of it still play a 90-minute game. Much like what Rebic does, Kasti's constant pressing and running in on the opponent's defenses and keepers can come in very handy. Hakan Chalanolu, who was quick to shake off his injury from last week, is now, according to Fabrizio Romano, getting very close in his negotiations with the club. Great decision by my Turkish delights. Please accept the offer and sign the damn contract. Milanisti, I hope you enjoyed this game after that loss against Juventus. Even Torino's player Rincon enjoyed Milan's performance tonight. Grande Milan and grande tifosi. I will see you again in three days against Torino again. In the meanwhile, please like, subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you want from this channel. And if you're on Twitter, follow us on Rossonari TV. Unless you are a Merda fan. In that case, save your asses against Roma tomorrow. Grande ragazzi, ciao a tutti e forza Milan!